Many of you may know that I'm really big on visuals in cars, on screen for augmentation of where we're going, and I'm not so big on head-up display units today. They're just not that interesting. But Wei Ray is trying to crack the code on solving my issues. They are showing off here a widescreen, extremely immersive, by today's standards, holographic AR head-up display. What goes on this display? That's not their problem. They're creating a platform here of the projection system as well as an SDK to use it. And then automakers will work with their partners to decide what services are there. But we need AR on windshields. We need cars to have a wide degree of augmented information in contextual place calling out the names of certain types of businesses around you. Wouldn't it be nice to see all the hotels or restaurants light up? Obviously navigation, having navigation prompts that are out there where the navigation is going to happen. And anything you can imagine for that matter. In the future of autonomy, windshields will be much less about keeping your eyes on the road and instead keeping your eyes on your world. Now this is all new stuff, right? None of us have this really in our car. So what do they actually make at Wayray to make this happen? Here's an example. Here's your windshield. First of all, a piece of holographic film about the size of a sheet of paper would be embedded right about here. That's fairly common placement for today's HUDs, but it's different material. The holographic material is one of their breakthroughs, they claim. And then right here, you see the projector. It looks a little different, a little larger than most of the ones I see on a HUD display. Underneath here is the guts of it. This is laser driven, which almost no car has used before. And they say they've been able to bump up the power, giving you extremely saturated, full color across the RGB spectrum images that are really gonna compete against the world out there. And everything projected is set to a focal distance of 10 meters, or about 30 feet, out in front of you. And to my eye, what I've seen here in the demos, the resolution is getting really good. Now, I'll tell you, first thing you've probably noticed is showing AR and HUDs is devilishly hard on a camera. This isn't really printing for you, I know, but take my word for it. This is really starting to get sharp, bright, and pretty close to immersive. You know, the, the actual screen on the windshield is about the size of a piece of paper. When you're sitting near that, we're getting pretty close to a wide array of vision. I like the march toward progress to bring the world alive on our windshields. And this seems to be going a big step in the right direction.